Hi, I'm Nick Bonner for TreeStuff.com, and today we're going to cover the basics of Mechanical Advantage as it applies to arborist or tree care work. Uh, there's definitely a ton of information available. We're not going to cover it all, but we are going to try and cover some of the easy things that you can do and some of the more complex systems. For the purpose of our, advan uh, of our example today, I've got a pulley above us. It's relatively low friction rock exotica pulley. I've got a rock that is uh, it's heavy. I, I'm not sure exactly how much it weighs, um, but you can see you know, I'm not a very big guy and I'm struggling to, to try and lift this here. Uh, the rope that we're using today is fairly small diameter, but I chose it because it has very little stretch. It has a Dyneema core uh, with a polyester jacket. So it should help us show uh, what we're trying to show today pretty well. So you can see that I struggle to lift the rope by itself. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and unanchor it from our Porter wrap here. And I'm gonna show you one of the simplest forms of mechanical advantage, which is often called an old school come along. So I'll come here as about as high as I can reach on this line, and I'm gonna tie a alpine butterfly, very simply, in the end of the rope like that. I'm gonna keep the porter wrap over here instead of a pulley. This would be more efficient with a pulley, but we'll keep the porter wrap for the purposes of this initial demonstration. So here I'm gonna take the tail of the rope, and I'm gonna pull it through this knot and I'm gonna form a really basic three to one system. So you see here, I can start taking it up and I'm making more progress with the rock now than I was before. Still, it's not easy and you notice when I let go of it, the rock's gonna just come straight down to the ground. There's no progress capture and I also don't have any ability to reset this system. Once this knot comes to here, I've exhausted all of the pulling that I can do and because I'm using the redirected tail, it would be difficult for me to lock it off and, and try to move this at all, right? So uh, this is a good system when you're trying to pull a tree over that maybe takes a little bit extra force. You know, you got a couple of guys, you can really, you know, multiply the amount of force that they're able to put in without a bunch of tools. If you're gonna be doing a really heavy lift or something super critical, this isn't the type of system that I would recommend, but it is the same basic technique. So let me just undo this. Alpine butterfly here. And what we'll do is we'll show a, a different version of this. And I'm gonna take a Prusik and I'm just gonna put a pretty standard French Prusik or English Prusik on here. It's a three wrap, so uh, you end up with like six coils here. And um, I'll just go ahead, set that. And then I'm gonna take a very simple pulley. This is nothing fancy, it's a simple a swinging side plate pulley. This one happens to be made by CT. Uh, pretty much any similar pulley that's rated appropriately is gonna do the job. So same concept again, where I'm doing that. In this instance, I'm gonna take the rope off of the Porter wrap and put a pulley in at this side as well. and I'll clip that straight to the top of the Porter wrap. So now again, this is the same three to one system, but I've got a lot better efficiency here. Because of the pulleys, but still no way to stop it or put any type of progress capture on uh, or anything like that because I'm still using the leg of the rope as a redirected way to create the mechanical advantage. I could obviously lock this off on the Porter wrap. But I still don't have any way to reset it using this technique. So what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and use an external mechanical advantage setup. That could be as something as simple as a piece of rope with these types of pulleys to build a mechanical advantage setup, or you can use something that's pre-made like this. This is a really nice setup, uh, the Rock Exotica Aztec setup. Um, this features sterling rope and really nice set of fours pulleys. Again, you don't need to have something like this, but it is really helpful. And we'll show you a couple of the reasons why 
uh, here today. So I'll go ahead and take some of the slack out of this. All right, so here we go. And you can see I'm able to lift the log with a relative ease. However, it's a lot of rope being pulled out. And now, again, I've gone ahead and exhausted my pull. So I need a way to reset it. And ideally to have some progress capture. So I'm gonna take the tail of the rope and instead of just leaving it hanging, I'll insert it on the Porter app like normal. So now what I'll do is I'll install this orange control prusik up here on the top of the pulley. This is really nicely built in to this Rock Exotica Aztec setup, but this could be done with, like I said, with a piece of scrap rope, and this could just be an extra normal sized prusik that you attach to this carabiner and then attach to the right leg of your mechanical advantage setup. So you can see here, as I'm applying pressure, it's holding it here with this prusik allowing me to really focus on putting the force in and getting it set up. Now, again, I've exhausted the pulling distance and I wanna reset this, I wanna move it. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna break it with the Porter app. Lock that Porter app off with two half hitches around the pins. I'm able to disengage this Prusik And now I can move this up as far as I'm able to reach and re-engage my pulling. So this is just one example of how you can use a set of fours like this or a fiddle block system or any type of mechanical advantage setup with a Prusik and a Porter app to create a simple system where one person can raise, stop, control, and lower a load that they might not otherwise be able to. All these different types of tools and techniques are gonna be interchangeable with various types of pulleys, whether you've got fancy ones that split apart and have magnets in them, or just simple Beckett pulleys like you see here from DMM uh, with the Pinto. So hope that you were able to learn something today. Uh, if you find yourself in your backyard and you need to lift a rock, or maybe you're on the job site and you need to lift a log, these techniques should come in handy. Thanks for watching.